Welcome back to educator.com. This lesson is prepping to shoot. Let's begin. In this lesson, we will be reviewing the steps you take before you shoot. Um, what happens when you've finished your script? This lesson will be covering all the basics. Um, we will also discuss in detail the materials you need in hand for the day of production. Okay, so before you shoot, um, one of the most important reminders I want to give you is that production success is all about planning. Um, most of your time on any project will be in um, pre-production. So you may only shoot for two days, but maybe you've spent three months prepping for that shoot or even with a feature film, um, which may be, you know, one month to six months of shooting. Um, the people involved in that production might have taken five, ten years to get the funding for it, um, might have been a one-year, very um, feet-to-the-ground pre-production process for only a month of shooting. So most of the time that you spend on a production will happen in pre-production. So you want to make sure all your materials are ready um, to go to that end. So the most important thing that happens <laughs> in the very first step of pre-production is going to be the finish, finishing your, developing your script. That's actually when you know you're ready to do um, most of what is going to be covered in this lesson. So that means you have to lock your script. Locking your script literally means we are ready to shoot with it. We're not going to make any more big character changes. Um, we're not going to get and change dialogue too much more. Um, and then to that end, we want to format it. We're going to go back and look at some of the formatting of it um, and even some of the word choices. So specifically, you want to make Make sure that all your slug lines are specific um, and accurate and um, we'll go into that a little bit more um, in a second but it means you want to make sure you're actually describing the locations that you want and need it to be also you want to make sure that you've expanded all of your scene descriptions to include all of the important action you don't want to skim over anything Okay, so the other steps for before you shoot include determining the creative visualization of your project. So you as the creator of it, um, if it's you and your friend or just you, you first want to do this work on your own. You want to be thinking about production design, um, and production design is being the world of this of the the show in terms of the sets and the props and the costumes and the makeup, hair and makeup. Um, and you also want to think about your pre -vis your visualization in terms of cinematography, that, which is the camera and the lighting. Um, and if you're the creator of the project um, from start to finish, you may want to create the lookbooks to start. Um, and maybe you're the only one who's going to create the lookbooks. And these are lookbooks for production design and cinematography. I'm going to go into detail what goes into a lookbook, but it's literally um, a, a hard copy of your pre-visualization of your show. So you may, if you have a crew for this or you have a friend who you want to collaborate with, you may want to actually hire or work with a production designer and cinematographer. And if you have them, you want to start doing that work in pre-production to collaborate, to um, expand um, um, beyond your ideas of production design or your or your ideas of cinematography. So the collaboration um, would begin in pre-production. So you also want to determine your creative element of sound. So even though sound is something that you're going to capture on set and work in post-production, you want to begin now thinking about it aesthetically, creatively. And to that end, if you have a composer in mind, you may want to begin working with a composer if needed. This is something that more and more um, film folks and television shows I hear lots of stories of directors actually working with their composer before they shoot because the musical, the musicality was such an important part of the um, production. And even if it's not a musical, um, that the music played um, an important role in telling the story. So they started working with the, their composer early. Okay, so before you shoot, um, another big step is you want to write a treatment. Um, so and a treatment is going to be a summary of your production um, in the written word, and it's going to be used to share your project goals with others. Um, and you may sometimes have multiple treatments because you have different purposes for your treatment. Um, in pre-production, another really important step once you've locked that script is going to determine all the needs of the project, which means your location needs, um, which include location scouting and locking location. Um, you're going to determine and gather your sets, props, and costumes. Again, that's a need of the project. Um, 